Hello and welcome to my channel, The Grape Jelly Library, where we love to talk about books. My name is Floss and I am so glad you could join me. I always look forward to your visit. <laughs> Today's episode of The Grape Jelly Library is not brought to you by Harney and Sons Unique and Uncommon Fine Teas. It just happens to be what I am enjoying. Look at me go. I am 52 years old, soon to be 53, and I have always been a rock and roller, a coffee drinker, but I've changed. I've grown, I've matured, and look at me go drinking the tea. Me, who said I could never drink tea. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> I, let me put this down so I don't spill it, but it is delicious and I can't wait to tell you the flavor. And one of them, I am very surprised at myself because that flavor is not for me. But guess what? We have a cherry blossom. Mm-hmm. A delicate green tea. See, I don't do the green teas. They're not for me. But guess what? <laughs> never say never. A delicate green tea with springtime chatties. And you get 20 sachets in this adorable pink. It could be a collector's tin. Um, let me tell you a little bit about this. The character is a spring awakening to the senses, refreshing green tea with the bright, juicy flavor of cherries. And I am telling you, they ain't lying. The ingredients are green tea, cherry flavor, vanilla flavor, and it contains natural flavors. I will put their address below in the description along with the phone number in case you would like to order this and try it for yourself i i'm on board with it i am a, i'm a fan i will be buying it again okay now that we have this deliciousness out of the way let's get into this table topics one of the very best things that i have picked up along my travels they are just prompts to get great conversation flowing so that you don't always have to talk about the weather, right? I like to just pick one at random. I have no idea what's next in line, but we're gonna go with it. All right, you ready? In your opinion, oh, this is a good one. In your opinion, what are the seven wonders of the world? Okay, so I don't know that mine are all gonna be landmarks or tangible things. Um, and some of the things that I'm going to state are gonna be the obvious. Okay, love. Love is a great wonder of the world to me. How we can actually love somebody so deeply and for eternity, it seems. It seems, I'm talking about that kind of love that each and every day you find a new awe about them. Um, your love grows deeper and stronger with each day, regardless of any kinds of circumstances. Um, atmosphere, financial, um, just a good, kind, honest, true, true love. That is a wonder to me. And it does exist. It does. Okay, another wonder to me is these aquamarine waters that flow up against the sandy beaches to the prettiest blue sky above the puffiest white clouds. Um, another, a third wonder is, th my third wonder of the world is the fields in Holland, the tulip fields. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. I have only seen pictures, but wow. 
could you imagine being lucky enough to see those fields in person? I cannot. We have three. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Give me a minute. Babies, babies of all kind, ba little, little ones, you know, that the stork brings. And um, the baby bunnies and the, the baby skunks and the, the baby elephants, baby horses, babies. All babies are a wonder of the world to me. Okay, we got four. Now we need five. I'm going to tell you this one. Lefties, left-handed people are a wonder of the world to me. I love the way the brain thinks and I love to get inside someone's mind. And I love knowing that a person without any thought can just go and pick that left hand up and just start raw writing or drawing or painting. Um, now I'm a southpaw, so I can do some things with my left. As a matter of fact, I would do most things with my left. Um, I really only cut and write with my right hand, but I bowl with my left, I, I bat left-handed, I eat left-handed, I uh, throw left-handed, I cannot throw for anything with my right hand, but pew, that left hand, <laughs> but put a pen in my left hand, and you would think a kindergartner wrote that. <laughs> and I try to make myself be a left-hander, because I've always wanted to be that, um, but it gives me a headache. It, it plays with my mind. It's like something is saying, ah, uh -uh. so we, we don't do that no more. But anyways, whatever comes natural with the left, I do whatever comes natural with the right. I do. Okay. So what is that? Is that five? Is that number five? Okay. Two more. I'll tell you who's a wonder of the world person. Elvis Presley. He's a wonder of the world. He's perfection. One more wonder of the world. Hmm. Can I just say everything in nature? Nature is a great wonder um, of the world. The bees, the trees, the grass. Oh, my goodness. The breeze. The flowers the scents, uh, the butterflies, you, those beautiful days that are like just perfect. Like you walk outside and you're like, oh my God, could it really get any more gorgeous outside? Nature is a wonder for sure. Okay, I did it. Yay! <laughs> Now comment below. You don't have to answer all seven if you don't want to, because you really got to put your thinking cap on, which is um, why this table topics is so wonderful, because it really is thought provoking and it will um, keep the conversation engaged for sure. Okay, so comment below. Let me know if even if it's one thing, what is a wonder of the world for you? in your opinion, or to you, in your opinion. All right, so that was a great question. All righty, today I am going to talk to you about a book that I just finished. MJ over at the channel Reading This Life has come up with a series where anybody can join and we are to read banned books 24 books in the year 2024 so that's two bucks a month we could do that um most of us hello duke my sister's cat is coming for a visit <laughs> anyways 
he surprised me because he's never come upstairs before. So where was I? My apologies. MJ has created this read 24 banned books in the year 2024. Most of us are reading more than two books a month anyways. So why not make at least one or two of those books that we are reading monthly um, a banned book? And let's show those who are trying to stop or put a halt to those books in our public schools and libraries. Monday's Not Coming is the story of a young girl named Claudia who has a best friend, Monday Charles. And they have been inseparable since forever. And every summer, Claudia goes to stay with her aunt for about two weeks. And Monday presented Claudia with a journal because Claudia isn't that academically inclined when it comes to reading, writing. So her friend Monday thought, well, let me help her out. And she bought her a journal. And this prompted an exchange of letters through um, a long distance correspondence when Claudia would go and stay with her aunt for the two weeks. When Monday didn't respond back, Claudia thought, well, that's weird because she, she always responds. So Claudia um, comes back from her aunt's and she, her mom and dad are very like close knit. They have a very watchful eye on their daughter. Um, and they also treat Monday as if she were family. So we have a tight little bond going there, which is good for Monday because Monday doesn't come from such a nice environment. Her mother's violent and she is not very domesticated, to put it nicely. So the first day of school comes and Claudia is anxiously awaiting her best friend's arrival, who usually gets there two hours before anybody else. But when this isn't happening, Monday's not making an appearance, Claudia begins to worry. And as the days and the weeks go by, Claudia begins to worry more and more. And she brings it to the attention of several teachers, to her parents. Um, she even goes over to Monday's house to talk to Monday's mom and... <clears throat> Nobody seems to be hearing her. All of her pleas are falling on deaf ears. Nobody's seeming to care enough to investigate where is Monday. So the book kind of takes us on this trip into a world that is sometimes dark, um, sometimes confusing, sometimes unbelievable, sometimes aggravating. It's aggravating to me that these adults just wouldn't respond, just wouldn't act. And I was quite shocked to find out that if Claudia's family was such a close-knit family and generally did care for Monday, like why wouldn't you just stop what you're doing to go find Monday? Time is ticking. Do you know what I mean? So I'm not going to go much further into that because I don't want to give anything away. <laughs> oh my goodness. Animals are so silly. But as long as you're comfortable, Duke, that's all that matters. Okay, so it is a, it is a good book. Towards the end, it was just a little, little bit repetitive. I'm going to tell you what, I didn't expect that outcome. I expected somewhat of that outcome, but not that exact outcome. It's a, it's a story that's worth reading. It's a story that I didn't feel taken aback by. I mean, with the language, I, I just, I don't know. I just... I don't see where the ban would come in. My goodness, if we really explored everything 
in its entirety, we'd be banning a lot. Communication is key. I'm going to give this book four, four stars. I enjoyed it. It, um, it kept me engaged. I, um, I was pleased with, with the storyline. I was pleased with the ending. Um, the only thing that I didn't like is I just felt like the ending just kind of kept repeating itself, but inserting new new refreshers just a little bit to like when we're at our wits end and we're about to be like, okay, we know, we know, nobody's looking for Monday. Um, they would just put a little refresher in there to say, oh, okay, pacify it pacified me is what it did. It pacified me for a little bit, but eventually I got back onto that track where let's just find Monday already. Can we just find Monday? <laughs> but anyways, you should read this book and find out what happened to Monday for yourself. Um, yeah, become a advocate for those of us who believe banned books are nonsense. Until my next video, know that me and Dookie love you and we want you to be well, we want you to be good, and we want you to be reading. And we wish with all our might that all your dreams come true.